Hello, it's me James and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very, very simple duplication glitch. Now, you might already have seen this duplication glitch on my channel. However, as requested by a few of you guys, I'm going to be doing this on a iOS device, a mobile device if you like. Well, technically, I'm going to be on a tablet, but it's like the same software. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of people saying it just doesn't work on mobile devices, but I'm going to show you today that it really does. One thing I have noticed though, it doesn't work with a nether portal, so we're not going to be doing the nether portal duplication glitch for this one. We are going to be doing something a little bit different. It's really, really simple though. Anyway, with that being said, let's jump straight on to my iPad. All right, so the first thing we are going to do for the purpose of the video is just create a new world. However, this will work on existing worlds. But keep watching the video because there's some important information you should know before you attempt this just on any world You should uh, yeah, probably just watch the video first So anyway, as I was saying I've created a brand new world for the purpose of the video as well I'm just in creative and that means I will be able to get myself a few items to duplicate of course as I said this is a brand new world so, uh, I've literally got nothing. So, that's why I've gone into creative. It looks like a pretty decent map. I can see a village over there. But like I said, yeah, I need to grab some items. So, what I'm going to do is grab one of each of the armors, just because. And I'm going to grab one of each of the tools. So, I've got one of each of those. And then I'll just grab a bunch of random items. I think probably... I should grab some diamonds and stuff like that. But right now, let me just put these in my hot bar. You can see I'm really slow with the touch controls, so I do apologize. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, annoying when you're so used to, like, PC and controller. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get some beacons, some diamonds, probably some emeralds, some netherite as well. As you can see. And I don't really know what else to get. I think maybe... Yeah, we'll just throw some XP in. And then we've just got a little bit more items to get. So one more inventory is worth. Or one more hot bar is worth, should I say. So, yeah, any items will do. Of course, the most efficient way probably to do this was obviously, in fact, not probably, um, would be definitely to duplicate full shulker boxes of items. Now, for some reason... I uh, didn't choose to duplicate full shulker boxes of items. I chose to duplicate random items, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, I'll get a few shulker boxes as well. we just got to imagine they are full. And, of course, as I said, the most efficient way would actually be to, uh, yeah, um, get a few full shulker boxes and totally duplicate those because that would be definitely the most efficient way so what we're going to do now is just grab a chest as well which is uh one thing i almost forgot i'm going to throw away those chests because we only need one single chest and all of those items that i literally got just then will fit in that single chest so right now i'm going to go into survival and we are going to save and quit this is going to make the game remember this point in time so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I think I jumped back on the world. And that is something that I didn't want to do straight away. Because I did want to do a very, very important step. Now, this is the step that you really want to be listening to. If you are on your own world. Uh, and yeah, yeah, that way you're going to be super, super safe. Basically, as soon as this loads, after it takes a long time. I think I exit out of the game again. The reason I do this is to complete a very important step. It is not renaming the world. I just decided to rename it right now. The dupe world. And I made a little mistake. I have no idea what was going on right there. That was a little bit crazy. But uh, yeah, I decided to rename it. As you can see. And uh, I called it the dupe world. This is not the important step. The important step is coming after this. Alright, I got a capital letter. It doesn't really matter. We're going to scroll all the way down and copy the world. This is very important because sometimes... As I said at the beginning, it's not so consistent. And uh, yeah, you can lose some items. So what we're going to do, once we've got a copy of the world we just made, we've got all the items, and of course we've got the chest set up, we're going to join that world. So we're going to wait for it to load. And as soon as it loads, we're going to click on the chest, and then we're going to double tap all the items. Now I can see, 
I was tiny bit slow there, but it doesn't matter. You can fumble, I would say, maybe a couple seconds. That's it. You don't really want to be fumbling that much. But, uh, yeah, you can see I pretty much get all of those items in pretty fast. After this, I'm just going to destroy the chest. This is a little bit of a time indication. And then I'm going to swipe up so the app is completely closed down. And once I've done that, I'm ready to reload the application. And as soon as it loads, we can go back onto the world we just exited out of. And, of course, we should have the items in the chest and my inventory. Of course, when we exited the world, we broke the chest with the items all over the floor. But when we join back, watch what happens. You can see that all of the items are, in fact, in the chest. We're just waiting for this generating world. It takes a super long time. Come on, shouldn't take too long now, but uh, yeah, as soon as we load in, you'll be able to see in the chest, and uh, there we go, I've loaded in, and you can see in both chests, we've got all of the items, including the shulker boxes, so if you did have full shulker boxes, that of course would be the most efficient way, but that my friends is how to do the duplication glitch, and yeah, it does definitely, definitely work. I mean, as I said, it doesn't work all the time, not every single time, but I'll show you one more time very quickly. So I'm just going to load into a world again, and uh, basically this is just another copy of the world that we just made. That way I don't have to gather all the items again, and I'm simply, as you can see, throwing all of the items inside the chest i'm going to uh accidentally do that but now we're going to break the chest so like i said you can fumble a couple seconds but uh you don't really want to be taking too long now you can see that i exit out of the game and then as soon as that happens i join the game again and as soon as we join the game again we are free to go on the world we just exited out of so we're going to hit play and then let me just wait for everything to load and then we're going to go on the copy that we just created. And at this point, we should be okay and have duplicated items. So let me just wait for it to load again. Again, I apologize for the loading times. It's kind of annoying. I did think my iPad would be a little bit faster, but apparently not. Apparently it just takes ages to load anyway. Anyway, not to worry. So uh, come on. There we go. So we loaded in. The items are not on the floor anymore. We've got them in the chest and, of course, in our inventory as well, meaning we've duplicated all of the items. And there we have it. There is how to do a duplication glitch on a mobile device. Again, this should work on Android as well. It shouldn't just be uh, stuck to iOS. You should be able to perform this on Android as well. Again, it might be slightly different on how you actually exit the game. However, yeah, it basically, it should be uh, around about the same. And that, my friends, is all I've got time for today. I will catch you on the next one.